this video we want to talk about receptivities and conductivity you know the receptivity the resistance is directly proportional to the length and inversely to the area of a wire this is a wire p and a wire q if you, so this wire p it puts let's say it's 15 meter and uh, the resistivity of the wire p which is a lycron is 100 times the super minus 8 and we are given the area to be 2.0 times the super minus 7 meter but before we proceed if the resistance is resistance of a wire is directly proportional to the length of the wire and inversely to the area we can still further prove this to have the resistance is now equal to resistivity times length over area so if the resistance can bring out this formula let's find the formula for resistivity so as we know that this video is explaining the resistivity and conductivity so therefore let's try to do a, a simple mathematics around there to have r times a is equal to p uh, the resistivity a so the resistivity we now give us R A over H. So this gives us the formula for resistivity. So we now have a value like this, like a 15 meter length of a wire, and given a resistivity of 100 times 10 to the power minus 8 and the area of the wire you recall that this is two different wires so meaning that the, the, the diameter will determine the areas and the areas will determine the resistance according to resistivity formula so therefore in going further let's assume want to find the resistance of this wire so we said resistance is equal to as we know that the resistance is Resistivity, which is 100 times the power minus 8 times the length of the wire is 15 meter over the area, which is 2.0 times 10 to the power minus 7. So we still go further to have that resistance is now. So let's try to multiply together to have a meaningful value. 100 times 15 will give you 1,500 times that's about minus 8 over 2.0 times that's about minus 7. So by the time we press calculator, let's press calculator to get the value. You know that uh, it should be 750 divided by 10, that is the answer here will be 75 ohms so this is the resistance of the wire now as it, as we know that the resistivity of materials are different let's assume let's have another example let's assume we have a copper wire copper wire let's assume the wires change to copper wire and the resistivity of the copper wire is different from the nichron so we use a nichron wire so the the resistivity of a nichron wire is the is 100 times 10 with to power minus 8 but we are changing the nichron now to copper wire of the same length of the same area so we want to find the resistance. So we all know that 
the resistivity of a copper wire is 1.7 times 10 raised to power minus 6 ohms meter so if the resistivity of a copper wire and we were given the same length as before same length we given which is a 15 meter and we're given the same area we're given the same area to be 2.0 times size to power let's find what is given here is minus 7 that is minus 7 so minus 7 meters here so we find the resistance of the copper wire which is equal to the resistivity which is 1.7 times 10 to the power minus 6 now times 15 over so the area which is 2.0 times 10 to the power uh, 10 to the power minus 7 so by the time we press calculator to this let's press our calculator to get the exact value so the resistance is now equal to let me press the calculator let's press the calculator to get the exact value for we have 1.7 1.7 times 10 raised to power there are the powers of minus 6 times 15 so divide by 2 times 10 to the power minus 7 so the final answer gives us 1.3 so you are approximated to 1.3 volts so that is about that so there is something we also call conductivity that is conductivity uh, let's say this is the, what we use to refer the conductivity is equal to reciprocal is equal to reciprocal of restrictivity so if this is this uh, for example uh, we were given a wire the length of wire maybe we are given the length of wire so 50 centimeter and we are given diameter to be 0.5 millimeter and we are given the resistance of 10 ohm. So let's find the resistivities of this wire. Uh, you know, let me draw a little shape of uh, the wire. So maybe this is what is trying to explain. We are given the diameter of this wire. Diameter to be 0.5 millimeter. We are given the length to be 50 centimeter and the resistance to be 10 ohm. So we want to find the resistivity. But before we proceed in finding the resistivity, there is uh, let's convert this centimeter and the diameter to meter. This the the diameter the the diameters of Recall that to find area, we have so in finding area, you know, it will be area will be the this is this is diameter of it. So, in finding the 
pi r squared. This is the formula for the area pi r squared. So, and we need to know the value since the diameter is 0.5 millimeter. So, we now have so let's find the radius. So meaning that the radius will be equal to 0.55 millimeter divided by 2, which will give you 0.25 millimeter. So meaning that the radius is 0.25 millimeter, it will now reconvert to 0.25 times 10 to the power minus 3. Meter. That's just the meaning because the milli is 10 to power minus 3. So we note this and also uh, the length, the length given, which is uh, the length is 50 centimeter. Uh, in converting to meter, it will be 50. The cent here is 10 to the power minus 2 of meter. So, in giving it a proper value, you can just say that 50 divided by 100 meter, which is equal to, so uh, it will be 0.5 meter. So, that is the first thing you need to do. So, let's find the resistivities of the wire. So in find resistivities of the wire as we all know that the the formula that we deduce in find the resistivity here is R A of R A divided by length. So we have R A divided by length. So which is so what is the value of our R, which is 10 ohms, 10 ohms times the area, as I've said earlier, the area given, it is pi, I try to note pi R, what is the value of our R, the value of our R here is 0.5. 2.5 times 3 to power minus 3 uh, meter so divide by so the value of the area the value of uh, the length and the length given is 0.5 meter so 0.5 meter so Let's press the calculator to get. So let me press my calculator here to get the exact value. 10 times pi, and pi is 20 over 200. Pi times 0.25 times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 0.5. So the answer given us here is equal to the answer given is three points is three points nine times ten is to power minus six ohms meter so this is the resistivity as we have said earlier so the resistivity is three point nine times ten to the power minus six so Let's now find the conductivity. So if the resistivity is 3.9 times 10 raised to power minus 6, minus 6 ohms meter. So the conductivity is 1 over the resistivity minus 6. So therefore, so let's press our calculator to get the exact value that is a one divided by bracket of 3.9 times 10 raised to 9.6 bracket
is equal to so our value in by pressing the calculator now is 2.6 times 10 raised to power 6 x so ohms this and the, this are the reciprocals of ohms and the meter so this is how to find the resistivity and conductivity what is the length of resistance wires of 14 ohms with diameter 0.3 millimeters and resistivity 1.1 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 ohms resistance to so for solving this we have been having some formulas before nouns about resistance and you know that the resistance resistance of a wire resistance of wire depends as i proved earlier depends on the resistivity length and the area and uh, you know that here we are given only diameter the resistivity the area will be pi d uh, the d we can have something like divide by 2 or scarce because we, are, we were given diameter so it means resistance base will be pi d squared over 4 which from the proof we can something like 4 over pi d squared so we have a formula like this 4 resistivity times length all over pi d squared so you just have to note this formula so far you have to note the formula that uh, the resistance can also be in this form so we have some variable given like the resistance given we have a resistance given to be 14 ohms 14 ohms and uh, we are given resistivity we are given resistivity to be uh, 1.1 1 .1 times 10 to the power uh, 10 10 to the power minus uh, 6 we have 10 to the power minus 6 and uh, also the diameter so the first thing you do about the diameters is having something like if you able to see that uh, diameter given is 0.3 millimeter and there's something we call milli milli is 10 to the power minus 3 so having this you now have the diameter to be equal to 0.3 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter which can be written as 3 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter so this is the diameter you must note this also so if this is diameter so let's now apply uh, the formula to this that's our resistance now equal to so if our resistance now equal to the formula I prove where that is 4 times the resistivity 1.1 uh, times 10 uh, raised to power minus 6 times so what is the value of our of the length so that is what we uh, need at this point but before we do that let's let's make the l as a subject of the formula let me make the l as the subject of the formula let me let me make it from here if my resistance is this so let me prove it out let's have uh, if r is equal to for resistivity onto pi d squared so let's try to cross multiply we have uh, pi d squared r 
we have pi d square we have pi d square r is equal to so is equal to four reflectivity uh, L. So it, what we need here is just L, and our L is now pi d squared r over four of the reflectivity. So you just have to note that these uh, formulas really matter. So therefore. In finding the value of L, which is our pi, uh, is 22 over 7 times so the diameter is 3, that is the diameter will be, uh, yes, that is 3 times. That is 3 times 10 to the power minus 4 square times what is our resistance? 14 over to 14 over that is 4 times 1.1 times 10 to the power. So our resistivity is 10 to the power minus uh, 6 minus 6. So we just try to uh, do some mathematical proof eh? you know, we'll be able to see that um, let's just let's say this 7 will come down to be 22 times this 3 we scale to be 9 times 10 to the power minus 8 you know, to scale the 2 times 14. So this 7 will come down to be 7 times 4 times 1.1 times 10 to the power minus 6. So if you're able to see it, you realize that we have uh, so 22 times 9, 22 times 9 times 14 times 10 to the power 8 divided by 7 times 4 times 1.1 times 2. Let's press calculator to get the exact value. So to be, you know, by the time we try to divide, we have a 22 times 9 times 14 times this divide by 7 times 4. So now, by the time pressing calculator here, so our final answer is 0 0.9 meter. After we have, after we have converted, so we have is equal to, so you know. Convert it to meter to give you 90 centimeters. So, this is the values of the answer.